So one of the things about our channel is talking about gear, right? Now it's been a while since I did a gear review. There's one coming out soon, smash like if you wanna see just how good the DJI Mini FPV, if and when it comes out in potentially July. We're shooting on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it's Florida, overcast, but still about 92 degrees. This thing has been giving me the temperature warning at least six freaking times. Like all I have is the road video mic hooked up and it's on a gimbal. That's it. Anyways, check this out real quick. Is it? No, you're good. I'm good? So it's gonna turn me into a liar today also. But, oh wow. Let me go ahead and flip this around real quick. You got these benches for Annie. She loved the birds. She loved us. She loved. That's freaking beautiful, man. And let me flip the mic around. It is hot. It's a scorcher. We're even underneath the shade. I keep on getting the black screen of death saying temperature warning. In Florida, I got to say, guys, if you're in the south, if you plan on doing any sort of long-term vlogging out in the sun, iPhone 12 Pro Max, no, we got to find a different solution for this. It's a beautiful camera. Absolutely. Awesome phone. Love it. Blah, blah, blah. Fill in the blank. iPhone, the, uh, the whole Apple ecosystem is awesome. Which makes me kind of worried because does this mean I'm going to have to stick with iPhone? Like this may be a pivotal, 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 like, like what's the word? Pivotal, pivotal, pivotal. Ah, I'll talk tomorrow. Pivotal moment in time whenever technology just pisses me off to the point where like, you know what? Apple. That looks like a whole gator right up on the, yeah. um, he's got his head up on the. Get us spikes on the back of his head and everything. No, that one out at, um, that I said I saw at Lashley, it was mid, uh, midway of the bridge and it was a distance out, but you could see every one of his bumps yeah. from all the way over at Lashley. That's crazy. Yeah. He was huge. Usually whenever we film, we are shooting out at Charlotte County, Punta Gorda and everything else, but as you already know, a big part of this channel is wildlife and nature and landscape. It's something that we're both passionate about, me and Wendy. And we found this hidden gem. It's not really hidden, it's kind of hidden. It's off the beaten path. If you take I-75 to State Road 72, uh, the signs are gonna point towards Arcadia and stuff like that. You're going to eventually run into what you call Mayaka River State Park. It's about an hour away from Charlotte County, about an hour away from Tampa, pretty much about an hour away from everything. Bridge, and back down the other side. Oh, and the lookout thingy. Yeah. And we did a nature walk. And we saw wild turkeys. And we saw gators in the beginning. And that's about it. So oh, and the pissy squirrel. There was a pissy squirrel. Yes. <laughs> Here's that tower.
really it, the sad part of the movie. The girl died, I'm just and like, she woke up, and she was like, the bubbles! And I was like, she just died. No, you were like, that is literally the sad part of the movie. She just died. Myaka River State Park Hog Trapping Contractor. $10,000 fine for messing with that. So it's a hog trap. Oh, yeah, it is. Look. So, you see how it works? Alright. So, obviously, the top. But you see down there that little string is connected to this piece of wood so it's connected to this gate if the hog gets all the way back there to that back string and trips it brings this down yep that's exactly what that is I know I was way too close for comfort there. I need to shave. I got the whole neck fur thing going on. We don't need that. We gotta hit the AC up. But let's put it. Yeah, we're a melting for real. Brings me to a good point. Aside from me bitching about Apple iPhones overheating and like preventing me from actually getting decent content today. Um, ooh, no artist info. That's important. Hailstorm. Yeah, that's a good song. Anyways don't need to get demonetized before I'm even monetized but like all right so God's honest truth Mayaka River State Park is one of those awesome places that you just you just got to go if you're going to visit Florida if you live in Florida like there's people that have lived here their entire lives that have never even come out here and seen it so um yeah this is your second time huh um like I used to ride horses out here with my mom and her friends and whatnot as a kid there's a different different area of this park though i feel like there's another spot that we're going to have to come back out here um probably earlier in the morning though because right now at 1 50 in the afternoon it, yo it's it's heck do me a favor if y'all like i'm gonna i i was just talking me and wendy both were just talking for a good solid probably like five minutes wrapping this video up points, bring of yeah making points to exactly bring plenty of water um, pick up your trash, absolutely. And then, if we didn't, if you didn't hear it already, bring some motherfucking water, right? And yeah, if you're bringing kids, like, bring them in the morning or later in the evening. Do not bring no children out here at at freaking high noon or at one o'clock or two o'clock in the middle of summer on the floor. You're gonna you're gonna have a freaking heat casualty on your hands. And it's going to be your own damn fault because now you officially did just hear it here. Don't bring kids out here right in the smack dab middle of the freaking heat of the day. Like, that's crazy talk. 
I mean, there's no nature out right now because it's too hot. It's completely, it's completely oppressive. I feel hogs, hog sprays. Yep. Crazy squirrels. So yeah, all you're gonna see is crazy squirrels running in front of you, and some red shoulder hogs. I haven't seen any. Yeah, the gators are always out, definitely. Um, which those are pretty cool. But make sure you bring us some food whenever you eat. Have some salt on it or whatnot. But uh, yeah, anyways, so if you live around Charlotte, Sarasota, um, like Port Charlotte County, Sarasota, if you're going to visit, um, even St. Pete, it would be worth a drive from there. Tampa, it's worth, it's worth a drive from there because honestly, you're not going to see anything else up that way. Uh, I've definitely lived up there. And you can flip it around real quick and show them all that up. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, well, we got some B-roll of it, and I think this is a good way to wrap this video up. Say thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, smash the alert bell. I think I got all that twisted around, but check this out and cue the B-roll. Thanks, you guys. Later. Yeah, later. I'm gonna stop recording. You might be upside down. Wait. Oh yeah. I'm recording. Haha, uh -huh. see? There's a life hack for you. If you're trying to figure out if you're recording or not, you just flip this around. It does smell good out here. Alright, all of that over here. That's beautiful. Right before Memorial Day. You know it. If you stay with me this far, like smash like if you know what all those yellow flowers represent. So that's perfect timing for Memorial Day weekend. But anyways, yeah, if you come out here, make sure you clean up, drink water, take respect, the respect the wildlife, take pictures, and tag us. All right, we're out. Bye. Are you, are you still watching? Oh.